Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm so sorry because I know that I said that I was gonna be uploading weekly, but last week I had a horrible cold and I just couldn't get it set up. I was ill, I was sneezing, it would have been horrible. So I'm really sorry for that, but I'm feeling much better this week. And I am feeling extra okay and amazing because something amazing happened about an hour ago. So, I came from my dad's um, to my mum's today because it's half term in England and I asked my mum if we could meet up in Shoreditch which isn't too far from my house um, and I really wanted to go because two of my absolute favourite YouTubers Rose and Rosie, I'll put the link below so you can follow them, they're absolutely amazing and they're huge role models for me and they've given me so much confidence with so many different things and um, they had been in Shoreditch about a couple of weeks ago and they would taken um, a picture right next to this graffiti that I'd walked past about a week ago and back then I was like oh my gosh I need to get a picture next to this but I was on my own and I didn't really want to take a selfie because I wanted it to be like just like their pictures. I got off at Shoreditch and I asked my mum to meet me and she said yes. I found the graffiti and my mum took a, about half a dozen pictures of me outside, well near the graffiti. And then we walked around and we went home and I was like okay I need to upload these pictures to um, Instagram and Twitter so that maybe Rose and Rosie could see it. Um, so I did this thing where you can put them side by side, like the two pictures side by side. So I did this one of me and Rosie and I did this one of me and Rose and Rosie and me and Rose. So I was like, oh this is really cool. Posted it on Twitter. I had just made a Twitter a couple days ago, a fan page for Rose and Rosie and I just went about my business. I called my friends up, uh, we had a chat on Skype and then suddenly my phone starts going absolutely crazy, like crazy crazy. And I scroll to one of the first notifications and it goes, Roxetera liked your post. And my heart started racing. And then another notification, Rosetta has um, like retweeted your post. And then another one, it was like, she's retweeted another one. And I was like, oh my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. I was freaking out, it was all on screen. I'll show you a video now. It's going crazy, okay guys. Okay, so Rosie from Rose and Rosie just retweeted one of my pictures and my phone is going crazy. And she's like, put, this is so adorable, I can't. And oh, little baby penguin. And she's, she's like retweeted it. Guys, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> And then, like, my phone was oh just blowing God. up, as I said in the video. I was screenshotting, I was taking no, pictures, I had Twitter like, up on my computer, I'm I was freaking, freaking out. out right and now. she just, Rosie had liked and retweeted two of the pictures that I'd taken today. And just my mind was blown because both Rose and Rosie are such huge role models in my life and just. Oh, and back, Rosie called me a little penguin. She called me little penguin. And I actually penguin. needed a koodle. A koodle is a hug from a penguin. You should get that. Anyway, and then so I was freaking out. I ran down to my mum. I was like, Mom, Mum, Mum, look, look, look. She was freaking out. I had to call my dad. Um, my friends were still on Skype and they were like, What's happening? And I was freaking out. And it's just best day ever. So I want to say a huge thank you for that, Rosie because that really meant a lot to me and I even started this YouTube because of you and Rosie. Like, I had been watching you guys and how you change people's lives and how it just has a huge impact on people and you say things which are so relatable and I was like, I want to be like them. So this is why you guys are the reason why I started YouTube and the fact that Rosie, you put my picture of you and me together on your Twitter and retweeted and was so nice, it's just, it's amazing. So thank you for that. I also
also want to cut in and say that uh, on Wednesday, no, not Wednesday, a couple of days ago. What day was today? Or Tuesday? No, it Wednesday. So on Monday, or maybe it was Sunday, I can't remember. Um, I also decided to go out near the London Eye and Rose and Rosie had just been there um, about a week ago with their friend called uh, Cami Scott, I'll put the link below as well, she's absolutely amazing. Um, and they'd been there and they'd signed a tree and me being such a big fan of all of them I was like I have to find this tree, I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna find like the little signatures that they put, so I'm gonna find this. So I got there and and there were so many trees and so many people and I had already used all my 4G up which was really dumb for me. So I had to go and as I texted my friend around every tree looking like a dog with a bladder problem and had to go and find this tree and then I found it and I freaked out like in the street not like a big freak out I was just like oh my gosh I found it and then I must have looked so stupid because it wasn't like for like five minutes or ten minutes I was there for like half an hour looking at this tree trying to find the signature that Rosie had written and I bumped into these two other lovely girls who are Rose and Rosie fans as well um, so hi to you um, and we were all looking for it and it was impossible to find and my friend had come along and he had Wi-Fi on his phone but it was really slow so we gave up on that so I stood on like this black box that was under the tree and I was there and there was like an act next to me and I think people actually thought I was an act and people were watching me it was so awkward and I couldn't find it so I decided to go walk, be with my friend, have a hot chocolate and then we came back and I'd found Cammy's um, little signature with under like a cloud, it was really sweet and so I took a picture of that and then I was like okay I give up, like it's impossible, I can't find this so I stood on the black thing again and I asked my friend if he could take a picture of me looking like I was writing on the tree where Rosie had done it before so I was like oh I want to take a picture like she did because you know, because I have a life. Um, and as I was posing for it, I see in the smallest writing, with like the smallest blue pen, it says Rosie Heart Rose Forever. And I was like, I have found it. And I freaked out. And by this time, my friend had my phone and was taking the picture. And I was like, dude, come over here. I have, like, I found it. I found it. And I took a picture. And I was so happy that I found it. And then I went home and I was really happy. So this week has basically just been been me going around trying to get pictures like Rose and Rosie um, and both times I was successful and but I did look like just a dog with a bladder problem trying to find that tree my parents must be so proud of me but no it was great that I found it um, but seriously Rosie like it was the smallest handwriting and I should have because I watched the video again and I was like oh right she was writing in a tiny blue pen but okay but no I, it was just uh, amazing so that was like my little journey um so yeah